Well, if you take politics out of yesterday's hearing, we're seeing a real conversation started nationally about sexual assault and the impacts that it can have on survivors even years after the initial trauma. I mean, take Dr. Ford's story. It could be decades before a survivor is ready to reach out, to share her story and to find help. And maybe you were watching yesterday's testimony and you saw a little bit of your story in Dr. Ford's testimony, or maybe you saw something that may uh, remind you of a, a friend or a loved one. Well, we've compiled a list of resources at king5.com, both national and local where survivors can find help. Now, a couple of examples that we have on here, the Rape, Abuse and Incest National Network, or RAIN. If you give their 800 number a call, they will recognize the first six digits of your phone number and then automatically put you in touch with local support so you can find immediate and long-term help locally. We also have the Washington Coalition of Sexual Assault Programs. Now, if you click this link right here, find help in your community, they have a list of 38 organizations across the state of Washington. So you can go on this list and look up which is closest to you. Also, we have a link to uh, Seattle Police, their page about reporting sexual assault, what to do after it happens, who to call, and also what happens and what you can expect after you make that initial 911 report. So we have a ton of resources. There's so much help for survivors in the state of Washington. If you text support to 206-448-4545, we'll send you a link to these resources immediately.